Except for our linear transformation, we define the kernel now. We are going to talk about the range. So the range of a linear transformation like T is all vectors in the second vector space because TV maps all V vectors into W. So it maps V into TV in W. So TV is such that V belongs to V, which is a subspace of W. Let us take a look at this example. Here I ask you to find a basis for the range of t. This t is exactly the same as what we did in previous example. Tx is equal to ax and a is this matrix 1, 2, negative 1 and 0. Then you have 2, 1, 0, 0, 0, 3, negative 2. And 0, 1, 1, 0, and 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 8. This is exactly the same as we did in previous example talking about the curl. Curl of T. So if you want to see how I reduce the matrix, you can go back to previous example. So the reduced matrix is basically what we saw as 1, 0, 0, 0. And then here I had 0, 1, 0, 0. Then we had 2, negative 1, 0, and 0. 0, 0, 1, and 0. And negative 1, negative 2, 4, and 0. Very good. So what we're basically doing, we are finding the column vectors. to form a basis for the column space of A. To form a basis for the column space of A. Very good. So basically, what do we have here? We have the following. So the very first column is associated to 1, 2, negative 1, and 0. The second column is associated to 2, 1, 0, 0. And finally, what do we have here? We have this guy here, the fourth column, which is associated to 1, 1, 0, and 2. So the basis for the range of t is going to be b equals to 1, 2, negative 1, and 0. And then here you have 2, 1, 0, and 0. And then here you have this guy, which is 1, 1, 0, and 2. 